How's it going ladies and gentlemen, Panda back with another video. I hope you guys are doing well, I know I am. And I know I've been pumping out the YouTube videos and I'm going to remain, you know, the pumpage and we're gonna come out with a new video today, basically, the new 21 classes. Again, we covered uh, Necromancer and that class was super fun to play. The, all these new abilities and Ascension is just, I'm so addicted to Ascension. For all you people that are like, Panda, usually you make classic TVC content about priests and healers. Why are you making so much Ascension content? Because I'm fucking addicted. It, it, it's fun. I, I haven't had this much fun in a while, dude. Blizzard just has no clue how to, you know, fu fun detected, fun detected, you know, get rid of it immediately, right? I've been having so much fun. So today we're going to be diving into a new class. The new class that we're going to be diving into is, is called the Venomancer. It's actually fucking insane. Like, 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 basically you use mana and rage, you use cloth armor, you could transform into a spider. Like, it's absolutely insane. I'm so excited to dive into dive into this with you guys. So like in the past videos, we will be covering, you know, basically going, going up to level 10 on the class, just so you can see the core starter abilities. And uh, let's hop right into it. I'm very excited. Ven Venomancer is what we're going to be covering today. I'm actually very excited to like continue this series of covering all of the 21 classes. Uh, I don't think we'll be able to cover them all because even if I did a video a day, that would mean a month long of literally just covering each class. So I think I'm just gonna cover the general senses of them and the ones that are really appealing to me. And uh, hopefully you guys find them appealing as well. And real quick, last thing I'm gonna say before we you know start this, uh, go ahead and subscribe. We're almost at 2,000 subscribers, which is absolutely insane. So if, if you know, if, if you get a chance, go click the subscribe button, it's free. Let's hop right into it, shall we? So hopping right into the abilities, we have Fang's Guidance. Increase your attack power by 40% of your intellect and your expertise by 40% of your intellect. In addition, your offhand weapon is increased by 30%. So that's all I've I could, I've really seen so far of, of the like, like the racials. But going into Venom, you have End Venom. Uh, empowers an ally target with Venom for 30 minutes, giving them a 10% chance to launch a Venom bolt at their target whenever they deal damage. Shadra's Vigil. Call Shadra to watch over the target, healing them for 8 to 11 every 3 seconds. Last 30 seconds. At the end of the duration, the affected ally will gain Shadra's favor. A damage so it heals them and gives them a shield. That's actually pretty cool. Venom Bolt. Fire a jet of venom at the enemy, inflicting 12 to 16 nature damage and reducing healing they take by 10%. Wow, so it's like a Grievous Wounds. It's actually pretty cool. Going over to stalking, increases the rage you gain from dealing damage by 25%. So, like I've seen, like I've said, this seems to be like a mana rage type of player. I guess we're just gonna have to go deeper into it and hit level 10 and see what we get. So I will see you guys when we get a new ability. I just want to say real quick, look at this casting animation. Like, what the hell? That's, I don't know. I think it's so fascinating what, 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 what like these devs come up with. Like, look at that. That looks so sick. That looks so awesome, dude. One thing I'm like really excited for is mainly like, like the PvP. Like seeing like, cause like Ascension's always been a classless private server, right? So seeing all of these classes in, you know, an arena setting maybe, and like how, cra oh, look at that animation. So cool, so cool. You know, I, I wanna see how they compete against each other because so far Guardian seems to be the most broken because they just do so much damage. But uh, as I play more of these classes, it's, they all look so unique, unique in their own way. And one thing to keep in mind, like you guys can 100% correct me if I'm wrong, but are these custom assets, like the, the animation for these Venom Bolts and shit, is that all custom assets? Like have they made that themselves or is it some part of retail maybe or, or something like that? Let me know down in the comments, I'm very curious. And if we go ahead and look at our bags, it's kind of like just like the other classes where you can look at like your, like basically your upcoming spells and your talents that you're able to obtain. It's actually pretty crazy. And for this class, we have Venom, we have Stalking, and we have Fortitude. So these, these seem to be the three different specs. And uh, yeah, I've been told that you literally can turn into a spider and kill people. I don't know, we'll have to check it out. Okay, we just leveled up and I think we just got a crazy ability in the fortitude category. I think this is the tanking category. We have Scorpid Form. You enter Scorpid Form granting access to Scorpid abilities, increase your armor by 300% of your total intellect. Also increases all threat generated by your physical and nature damage by 60%. Deal seven to nine nature damage to an enemy target, increase your maximum health by 10% for 10 seconds. So it's a 30% health 
basically percentage upgrade for 10 seconds that's that's pretty massive for a tank actually um let's go ahead and hop into the form and see what the hell oh my god i love it i <laughs> what oh my god it is so much damage what the hell is spam so this is rage okay so maximum health increased by 20 percent it's like cannibalism dude what it is so much damage can i oh my gosh I, I can cast my spells from here too i just can't use my casting stuff like my uh my hard casts look at this like what i'm i'm i mean <laughs> is it wonky uh yeah it, it, it's a wee bit wonky uh like i said this is this is the closed alpha though so there's definitely a lot to come i, I assume they're gonna fix most of this Okay, so if I go out of form and I go back into form, it kind of fixes the walking animations. Uh, that's something I, I promise that the devs are aware of. Again, this is, this, this, this is an alpha, so take everything you see with a grain of salt. All of this is just kind of a sneak preview, you know, uh, for a lot of you guys that aren't able to access it or just haven't seen this before, you know, this, these videos are here to show you guys, like, what's to come within this, within this new alpha, and I think that's super, super cool. I'm gonna go ahead and finish some of these quests and level up. And if we get any new abilities, I'll go ahead and show you guys. All right, I just finished a handful of quests. So we're gonna turn it in and we'll probably get another level, I think. And uh, I just wanna say, like, <laughs> I, I just, I'm not, I'm not over it yet. Like, I, you're literally a tank, but you're a fucking scorpion. Like, the concept, like, what the hell? But I love it though, like not like it's not in a bad way. Like this is like absolutely insane. Like I would have never thought of something like this. And the fact that they've actually kind of put it into action, I think is really, really cool. And I'm very excited to see what's next. And you know, what's gonna be in store for this kind of class. <laughs> All right, it looks like we, we hit level six and it doesn't look like we got any new abilities. Maybe it's because we got we got this tank form with another ability. So it counted as a level six ability, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but again, we finished the quests here. I'm gonna keep leveling up and hopefully we get to see new abilities. When we hit level 10 though, I do really, really wanna try some uh, BGs. I don't quite know how it's gonna go but i'm very curious to see for sure though the next class that we're gonna be covering is the son of argul because i heard that they could solo dungeons all by themselves so i want to see how true that is that's definitely the next class we're going to be covering and i'm very excited for it because that, you can turn into a werewolf you have werewolf abilities it's it, it's crazy and i'm very excited to you know play that one next while I'm completing this quest, I was looking through the talents, and look at this talent, you know, in particular. You take on the form of a Nerubian Vizier for 30 seconds, increasing your healing spell power. I think, I think it's healing and spell power by 50% of your intellect. While in this form, your Venom Bull ability will heal all nearby allies, and your mana and regeneration is increased by 100% of your intellect. Like, you can only get level 30, 30 if I remember correctly, on the closed alpha. Um, but, like, I am so excited to see, like, what like what's going to be coming when this is fully released. Like, these are all so crazy. Like... All the different talent trees, all the different spells and abilities. I think it's going to be wicked. Cannot wait to see the final product of this alpha. Okay, we just dinged again and we got a new ability called Escalate. Let me go ahead and check it out in my spell book real quick. Consume 20 seconds of Shadra's Vigil from the target ally to heal them for 14 to 16 every one second for five seconds. If the target is affected by Widow's Watch, I don't know what that... Oh my god. So, this seems to be a healing thing. So... If I go ahead and input Sadra's Vigil, and then I use it, it consumes five seconds of it, but then it gives me a hot. What the hell? As you guys know, I'm a big healer person myself. I love playing a healer. So this class actually seems very fun. I, I'm just getting a little, okay, not just because of the uh, the forms and like changing stances and stuff like that, but I'm getting a, like, like a, a, a large amount of druid vibes. Okay, so like I said earlier, I was looking in the talents and a lot of the talents seems to be, seem to be hot related. And that's you know, giving me a lot of druid vibes, a lot of druid vibes. But uh, again, 
there's nowhere near close to druid because i mean you're a goddamn scorpion you know like you, you could be a crit chicken you could be a, a bear you could be a cat you could be a goddamn whale uh but you know you can't be as a druid you cannot be a scorpion so that's pretty unique now i really want to test the capabilities of this class so i'm gonna try to pull these all get casters but regardless i'm gonna try to pull a lot of i'm gonna try to pull a lot of them and see how much i can really do like the amount of health regen that i have like okay we have three from right here look at my health bar like you regen so much with this class like you you just throw up your hots and you can always like stance stance and move like i love the casting while moving you know i love being able to have mobility that's one thing that like a lot of actual wow classes early on like classic tbc you can't really do a lot of stuff while moving and uh that's what i love about this server uh with like re's and stuff you can always change your play style and all that i think it's super cool all right we pulled more we pulled more let's see how much we can really pump here shall we and we got and we got the big boy we got, we got the level 10. i'm gonna try to get the low, the low level guys down if i can first but like, look at this like technically i can live forever right i just keep healing myself and then uh i go in this form and i just keep increasing my health because it stacks three times so that's 30 percent increased health back out of it just keep healing myself again back in form keep pulling more of them because i i'm just gonna kill myself eventually no but like really like honestly like look, look at this look how many i'm pulling and i can just keep dancing out of it and hop right back into it like for someone like me that's really 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 loves pvp like this this, this seems like it's gonna be awesome honestly th this really seems like it's gonna be awesome like, like get some weak ores that track your hots and your heals like this is gonna be awesome dude i think that's the max amount of them that i could pull though like that is one two three four five and we'll we'll, we'll see that this guy counts as two because he's level 10. uh you know that's a that's a lot of mobs to pull and to be able to handle like i don't know i just think it's so fun and fascinating really how like, like easy it is to be mobile and to heal and keep yourself alive as this class i think it's really cool okay we're currently level seven with about 67 percent into level eight and we have a handful of quests so i'm really hoping we get another ability because it's, it's, it's almost like dopamine dude like you you play these new classes and you try them out and you're like scratching you're itching for a new ability dude like what's next dude come on give me more it's 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 so awesome dude so i'm gonna go ahead and finish this quest in troy's quest in as well and uh, if we get a new ability i'll see you guys then it's actually insane I, i'm having so much fun like just the fact that i'm a goddamn scorpion it's so cool but uh we gotta do we finally got a new ability let's go ahead and check it out shall we it is called a venom spit spits venom at an enemy inflicting 9 to 10 nature damage and slowing their movement speed by 10 percent for 30 seconds um i hope this one thing i'm gonna say though i hope this ability doesn't become stronger as you get better ranks of it a 30 second slow by 10 percent that's pretty massive and again every you know I'm, I'm mainly looking at everything from a pvp perspective because that's what i mainly do um but i i that's so easily kiteable i know 10 percent's not a lot but to put it in perspective i mean look at this like imagine pvp like someone's following you and you just like keep keep, keep dipping around they, they can't, it's, it's a 30 second cd they can't get up to you they, they, they literally can't get to you so that's a pretty strong ability in pvp like i said we are level 10 right now so i think i am gonna queue for a battleground at least and uh, we'll go ahead and hop in and see how it goes i actually just got into a group to do uh rfc and uh, i said i would tank and uh, as you guys know I, I i play a healer i'm not much of a tank i do want to show you guys you know that do tank that are watching this and i, I want to show you guys how this class operates in my opinion and i've really never tanked before so this should be fun what the fuck is happening it's it, dude it's like learning a new game it's literally like learning a new game because i have no what why is there a giant saw like i have no idea what these guys' abilities do i think it's so cool though like wh <laughs> what was that so we just hopped into the dungeon and uh yeah i don't quite i don't quite know how to tank uh this gives me a high threat and increases my stamina by 10 percent um stacking three times so i assume i just keep myself alive by healing and then rely on my healer to help out too uh but i mean we have a little 15 here that's probably gonna take care of most of the trash uh if we get any new abilities we're definitely gonna check it out i'm very excited to see what we get i heard that necro got a buff though i heard that necro is always at 100 percent runic power 
and that they could basically summon infinite, uh, basically infinite amounts of skeletons. So we'll have to see, like, 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 he must be pumping because shit's dying really quickly and there's a lot of skeletons. And, uh, you know, we did, we did cover necromancy. So go check out that video. It will be in the description. Uh, it, necromancy is so fun, man. It's, it's so fun how you can just bring all, bring out uh, like all the skeletons and they just do so much work for you. It's so awesome. Uh, this is another class that I do want to try is the, um, Knight of Zoroth. Uh, these things like like, like like a fire warrior kind of sort of I don't know they have dragon's breath they have like fire wind fury I don't know the class looks absolutely cracked like, look look at this look at him go look at him go like oh it's so cool I can wait to try that class uh, I don't think we'll be able to cover all the classes though because like I said there are 21 of them and uh, that would take an entire month to do if I did it every single day it would take an entire month maybe I'm wrong though maybe the 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 venomancer isn't a tank maybe it's a dp it has to be a tank you have a form that increases your threat it has to be a tank but a cloth tank like I, I know you have stuff to increase to, to increase your uh your, your your max health but I just don't I don't see it man I I like I don't see it quite yet uh, obviously, like, again, I'm weak as hell, so maybe I do get some better abilities. All of these buffs that, like, the Sun Cleric gives us in the effects, it just seems so, like, unique. Again, let me know if these are custom assets. I think they are. I don't see how... I've never seen these these assets in WoW before. Um, so maybe they are custom assets. I don't quite know. But the next time the, the Sun Cleric buffs us, I'll show you guys. Because it actually looks kind of cool. It, and, 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 oh, there it is. There it is right there. Speak, speak of the devil. It, it, it's pretty sick. And it heals us 18 to 21 damage every three seconds. All right. Well, we got level 12. And uh, we still didn't get n any new abilities. Uh, which is kind of unfortunate. You know, I want to show you guys more of the abilities. But there's just not enough time, time in the day. You know, if I, if, I, if I leveled up every class level 30 21 times... That's that's a lot that's very long video a lot, a lot of stuff, you know, what I'm saying but hopefully you guys get the general concept It's kind of cool. Uh, I like it. Actually. I really like it I I, I think it's it's wicked cool with all the new abilities being able to change into a like basically a rogue form from what I've seen so far I was talking to some people in chat you could turn into a spider and basically kind of be like a rogue form You could be a tank with a scorpion or you could be a caster slash healer It seems like this class I cannot wait to dive deeper into it when it actually comes out. Um, that's basically it for today, though, with the Venomancer. I wish I could show you guys more, but, uh, you know, we're on limited time here before the alpha closes. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed If you did, go check out the Necromancer. We covered that as well. It was a very, very fun class, and they just buffed it, which is really cool. You can have infinite skeletons. It's super cool. So, if you guys enjoyed the content, make sure you subscribe. We're almost at 2,000 subscribers, and I love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Peace.